Welcome back to Sports for CLE. We continue talking high school football with Spectrum News One uh, high school football analyst Ryan Cavanaugh, my longtime color partner, and uh, Ryan Drew Aller. Uh, we touched on him, quarterback uh, from Medina. Um, he's a lot of fun to watch. He makes some throws where you just go, man, how did he do that? <laughs> Dave, you said it best. We've called, I don't know how many hundreds of games and seen hundreds of quarterbacks over the years. And from the, the first time you and I walked out and we saw Drew Auer warming up, you knew something was different. <laughs> um, I don't know that I've ever enjoyed in the pregame watching a quarterback warm up as much as I do this young man. And I've seen him throw 40 yard uh, post routes on a line into the wind. There's no, you know, it's very cliche. He can make all the throws. It's a different meaning when you watch Drew Auer throw the football. Uh, numbers are through the roof, even though he was banged up at times last year. Uh, that took away some of his athleticism in running the football. I expect him to be 100%, and I expect him to light up scoreboards all over Northeast Ohio in the state. And on that throw right there, you see him thrown against his body. He made another throw in that same game where he threw against his body to the opposite hash mark 45 yards downfield. You're not supposed to be able to do that, <laughs> even at the college level, let alone the high school level. But those are the type of throws um, that had him as one of the top quarterbacks, not in the state, but in the country. He went to the Elite 11, which you know gathers the highest ranked quarterbacks in high school in the country, puts them together for four or five, or four or five days and you have former quarterbacks grading him. He was in the running to be the top and, and had a bad day late in that um, that had him fall off. But that's the kind of talent he is. Penn State's getting a good one, Ryan. Yeah, and you know, last year when we saw him, there wasn't, there wasn't that much hype around him. He was still getting his name out on the map. And as you mentioned, going out to Elite 11, it's, there's no secret anymore about who Drew Auer is. And, you know, We've mentioned it a couple times, some of the quarterbacks we've seen, but you could say Trubisky. We've, we've called Joe Burrow's games. Those guys obviously are, are Mr. Football. They're NFL quarterbacks. They're outstanding. But at this level, Drew Aller is every bit as impressive to watch. So if you're in Northeast Ohio and you're a football fan, I strongly suggest you go and see Drew Aller play in person because he's that kind of guy that you, you should say, hey, I saw that guy in high school play. Yeah, without question. Another quarterback, uh, a pretty good one um, in this area as well, Owen Bainbridge. He's headed to Bowling Green. Um, and, and again, a, a guy that really good athlete. He is. He's got a couple uh, varsity letters in basketball as well. Three-year starter uh, at Stowe Family. Very good at basketball as well. His brother, um, six foot five, 210 pounds. He's added some muscle uh, in the offseason and he's got the arm to go with it. I think the ceiling is higher for Owen Bainbridge. I don't think he's come close to realizing his potential. But what he does have uh, is that dual threat. So he averaged 10 yards a carry last game or last year. He averaged a touchdown rushing over a touchdown passing. So he's a real threat. We've talked about that offensive line, uh, and he's also a 3.8 GPA guy. That's what you want in your quarterback position. You want him to have it upstairs as well physically, and Owen Bainbridge checks all those boxes. Uh, another interesting guy is um, is running back Valley Forge, and his name is Kentrell Marks. Um, headed to the Big Ten in Purdue, a really talented guy. He is. He's explosive. He's a slasher, but he knows. Most importantly, what I like from watching him on film is he knows when to get north and south, uh, because that sometimes when you have the skill set that Kentrell Marks has, you want to try and make people miss and avoid them. And, and sometimes the best run is knowing when to get straight up the hill, and he can do that. And in this area, Dave, I'd say Iris Sampson over at uh, Willoughby South. We mentioned Enovich, of course, the guys at Hoban. But Kentrell Marks, he is the premier running back in Northeast Ohio this year. All right, so we're going to shift our attention to the line. And uh, before we get rolling with a couple of them, there is a guy out at Strongsville who has been starting on the offensive line since a freshman. And <laughs> uh, you and I went there th and did that first game, and <laughs> I think your your question was, who is that? And that was Blake Miller, who is committed to play at Clemson. You know, Dave, I wish I had the opportunity in high school to play with Blake Miller. Not so he could protect me uh, in the quarterback position, but on these dog days of summer when it's really hot, I could just stand next to him and get some shade. He's that big of a dude, 6'6", 315". 
And Coach Lou Serino out at Strongsville, even last year, what he suggested, the two biggest points of development for Blake Miller, and I expect those to be amplified even more this year. Number one, the transformation of his body. He was no longer 370 pounds. He's 315. You look at him there in film. That's a monster of a man, but he's leaning out. And secondly, he became a run-the-ball-behind-me guy. He became more vocal in the huddle, vocal on the sidelines with Coach Serino, and he's now, Blake Miller is now the guy where he wants you to run behind him on every single play. And how Ohio State let him get to Clemson, I don't know. But um, he's at Strongsville for one more year. And you know what? If I'm a running back, you don't have to convince me, Blake. I'm running behind you, brother. <laughs> That's, we call that smart. Um, all right, there's, there's a number of other really talented linemen. Take, take us through a couple more of the linemen um, in the area that are really good. Uh, this, this is a really strong year for offensive linemen in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the deepest position in Northeast Ohio from everywhere, and that always isn't the, the case. All these guys I'll mention are over 300 pounds. They're massive. Mason Mental over at Stowe. Um, he's going to be a guard. Again, one of the key pieces to a bit, really big line is Mason. Ryan Bear out in Eastlake. They don't get a whole lot of attention. Uh, that program, I just know it's not one that's talked about, but Ryan Bear is committed to go to Pitt, and he is the highest-rated offensive lineman in that class. He's, he's a four-star, um, and he's going to be a good one out there uh, for the Panthers. Big Mo. Maurice Hamilton, 6'4", 345, offensive tackle from Cleveland Heights. He's worked extremely hard in the offseason. He's committed to WVU. Um, there's a lot of people, Dave. This, this is another team, Cleveland Heights uh, Tigers, that are flying under the radar, and they've got some, some athletes, but they've got Big Mo and some other big guys. If they can protect uh, the quarterback and let them do them, their things, I think it could be a very special year for Cleveland Heights. Uh, and finally, I'll end with this one. Tariq Montgomery from St. Vincent, St. Mary, 6'5", you guessed it, 310 pounds. Uh, he's a Marshall commit. What, what I like and what Marshall and, and everybody likes about Tariq Montgomery is his versatility. As a sophomore, he started at right guard. Last year, he moved to right tackle, and this year he's going to be at the blind spot. He's going to be in that most coveted offensive line position, the uh, left tackle. So while we may not know who's going to be playing Quarterback, at this point for St. Vincent, St. Mary, we do know Tariq Montgomery has their back. And, and you know what? They're going to be well protected with Tariq Montgomery. He b block the guys. <laughs> Don't let anybody hit me as the quarterback, Tariq, and uh, he'll follow that. Ryan, appreciate the time and the insights. Um, we plan on doing this each and every week, and, and we'll preview the games we're going to be out at um, for that given day as well. And um, So every Friday we plan on being joined by Ryan Cavanaugh. Uh, Great stuff, as always. Look forward to it. Another year of high school football getting ready to go. Uh, Ryan Cavanaugh, appreciate it. Uh, Spectrum News 1, you can hear Ryan and I uh, in Northeast Ohio. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you for having me. Look forward to seeing you next Friday, Dave.